Hello everybody, and welcome back to another drink review. So, if you've been around for a while, you would know that this is the second time we're kind of doing this thing here. The first one was the Arizona Tea Review that I did a while back. Um, it was incomplete though, because I didn't have all the flavors, but now I'm looking at what the powders I had in my pantry were. I just took a variety, and this is what we got. So, I've done you the favor of already mixing them, but what we have going from left to right, or well, right to left, but for you guys would be uh, low, cal low calorie, sugar-free peach iced tea. We got Crush, Orange Crush, Skittles, Crystal Light, Peach Mango, and then Crush, Cranberry, and uh, Raspberry Lemonade, sugar-free, low calorie, and great energy energy great right here all right <clears throat> first thing we got here is iced tea with peach uh sugar-free low calorie so with this with sugar-free right you're always expecting less of a kick right and low calorie let's check it out here i'll give you I'll just give you a good look at the package package in here I should see that very well. But nutrition facts, it says zero added sugar, so it is zero free, zero sugar um, as far as we know. We've got five calories in it. So let's see how she goes down. Missed. Wow. Give me that again. very smooth I can tell I can tell that there's no sugar in there and that it's low calories I can taste that right I can taste that and go down very smooth one of the big things with these drink powders is how much like how bad they can really be mixed how much the flavor and the liquid can just hit you separately this is very well blended I really like that you know because if you were if you were blind you wouldn't be able to read that it didn't have that it was sugar free or zero calories but just by the taste alone as a blind person you could tell that that is sugar free and low calorie you could tell and it goes down very well extremely well so oh yeah we'll also be rating these by if you should buy them and if it's good is it good yes should you buy it yes crush orange crush yes okay so we already got mixed up here. Oh, let me just show the packaging real quick. Orange crust, bright and colorful, makes you want to grab it. Nutrition facts here. Uh, we've got five, what? five calories and then zero sugar. <laughs> But this doesn't say zero calorie or low sugar. Marketing wise, you guys need to put that on there. You're missing out. Because nowadays people are like, oh, I'm watching my, watching my calories, watching my carbs, watching my sugar intake. That could get you more sales, Crush. By the way, this isn't sponsored, but you're missing out on sales. You're missing out on dollars right there, okay? So put that low calorie, put that sugar free on there. People will come flocking. That goes down smooth. That goes down like sugar-free, zero calories. Why would you, oh my goodness, that is such a marketing mishap. You need to put that on there. That tastes like it too. It tastes like it too. Very well blended, it goes down very smooth. You, that's great, that's great. Is it good? Yes. My dog is barking. What's the, what the dog doing? Is that here? Oh, I have packages. Oh, fucker! Not you. Oh, yeah, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I 
Why you gotta bring it down here? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you recording? Is that annoying? A little bit. You did that on purpose. Kind of. Go, Nico! Oh my god, I'm gonna get you up there! Did you go to this room? Did you go? Oh, I'm gonna win! <clears throat> okay, back to what I was saying. Is it good? Yes. Is it worth your money? Also, yes. Crush. Get on that right now. Skittles. Skittles. All right, here we go. Got the packaging right here. Very nice, very colorful once again. Skittles, Crush, that's what it's known for. One thing I would say about that right here for the uh, low calorie, sugar free, great value, peach, whatever. Make it a little bit more colorful. I know ge generally you go after the color that your uh, drink is named for, and that's great and all, but you really want it to pop so people see that first and go to it, you know? But let's actually look at the nutrition effects here. Huh. No nutrition facts. That's a little shady. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's a little shady right there. That makes me not wanna drink this because who knows what could be in there. Skills, that makes you hyper. They could be putting meth in there for all you know, right? People like to know what's in their food and drinks. And the fact that you're not telling me makes me think there's something that's in there that shouldn't be. I'm going to drink it anyway, but am I happy about it? No. More potent. It, it really, it, it, when, it, when it's in your mouth, right, it really tells you what's there. You take a sip and it's like Skittles. I'm there, right? This is Skittles, this is me, I'm in your mouth. That's what it is. It's good, right? It is good and I do enjoy it, but maybe, maybe make it like more of an all around thing, you know? And what I mean by that is once again, it's not blended the best. Like once again, there's still that separation between like flavor and and uh and liquid right so it feels like a little too much like skittles right and not enough just like skittles you know what i mean so maybe blend it a little bit better i think that would be i think that'd be pretty good but overall it's not too far off balance to like make it bad or overly potent so i'm gonna say that's good let's see what we got here what is this crystal light Peach mango packaging right there. And nutrition facts. Oh my goodness, five calories. Zero sugars. Guys, what are we doing here? You've got great value making bank off this and you're sitting here freaking pussyfooting around like these are sales. Oh wait, no. No, this has no artificial flavors. These are sales. They have the same amount of calories, like these probably all, now that I'm looking at it, probably have the same amount of calories and no sugar. All five calories, zero sugar, but they're telling you about it and they're not. That could be the difference of a sale or not a sale. You guys really need to step it up. Everybody else but um, iced tea with peach. Step the game up. You, you guys are really missing out here. And it should prove because I'm looking at it right now that like people probably see this stuff. So you guys are really missing out on sales. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a taste. No. 
Nope. Mm -mm. No. It's not blended. It's not blended very well at all. No, I feel that in the back of my throat. I feel like I drink that and it's like uh, like hot chocolate when you drink it and you it's way too hot but you feel it hit like the back of your throat and then you, it like stays there for the rest of the day. That's what it feels like. And that's not good. It shouldn't feel like that. That's not what you want. So that's, oh boy, excuse me. That's not what you want. That's not good. I don't like it. Not blended very well. It's definitely, by drinking it, you could definitely tell that it is powder. Like these, you might get away with. This you could get away with. These two, maybe, right? You, you, would, you, you, would, uh, you would have a strong chance that somebody wouldn't guess it's a powder drink. This one, you could tell it's a powder drink. You could tell someone poured some water, poured the powder, stirred it, and that's what you got. Is it good? No. Is it worth your money? No. And Crystal Light is one of the biggest players in the powder drink game. And by no means should this be as bad as it is. And it's all about subtlety, right? You need to be subtle with how these things are flavored. Otherwise, it throws the whole thing off. You cannot overpower it. If anything, go for the underpower, right? If you go for the underpower, that means somebody could add a little bit more powder into it, right? That's what they could do. But for this, no, no. So now we have Crush again. Um, cranberry flavored. And that's the packaging we got right there. Once again, no zero calories, no zero sugar on the packaging. But guess what? How much you want to bet? 10 calories, zero sugar. How does that happen? How does this have 10 calories? I know it's a different flavor. And then this has five. I don't get that. I don't understand that. You need to be consistent in this game. Because if you're, if you're inconsistent, people can't trust you. I don't trust you. I wouldn't let you in my house. Even I wouldn't let most people in my house because I don't know them. But that's not the point here. For drink powder specifically, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do that. You need to stay consistent. Too much, no. Once again, not, not subtle. It doesn't blend in very well. You could once again probably guess that that is a powdered drink. That extra five calories. That's probably what that is right there. That extra five calories. If you would have just done what you did right with the orange crush, we wouldn't be in this predicament. Now would we? So, fix your shit. Next up. We have a raspberry lemonade. And they've got the sugar-free, low calorie, right over my thumb, right there. Now let's see, because once again, it's not zero calories, it's low calories. So what that could mean, let's say this has, normally has 20 calories in it, this normally has 30 calories in it. Low calories for this might mean 15, while low calories for that for this might mean 8, you know? So, it's all proportional. Anyway, raspberry lemonade. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say what I was going to say afterwards. Nasty. No. Nope. Mm-mm. No. You fucked it up. You messed it up. It's not right. So what I was going to say is exactly what happened here. Lemonade. The more acidic a drink gets and you try to turn it into a power a powder, the more smoothly you have to blend it. Otherwise, it's gone. Especially for those acidic drinks. If you don't do it right, it's it's not good. Okay, it's not gonna be good. It is acidic, right? It's lemonade, it's citrusy, it's acidic, which means the more sour it is in for powder drinks especially, when that if that sourness comes across in the powder, it's over. It's not good. If you're a sucker for like, you know, sour um, stuff, 
This might be up your alley, but this again isn't a smooth sour. It's a very right in your face sour, right? This is the type of sour that would rob you at gunpoint. This isn't the kind of sour that is like, hey, how you doing, man? All right, this it's it's like it's like the sour that pokes you with a needle, right? Like the nurse that pokes you with the needle. Three, two, one, and in, and you feel a slight pinch, and then you're fine. This one is willing to break a window in, in your house, walk in, take your valuables, steal your dog, and then run, okay? So that's not what you want. And, oh, right, so, grape. This one is empty right now, and there's a reason for that. It's not good, it was horrible. But you know what, just for you guys, we'll try it again. All right, so instead of doing grape again, because I know I don't like it, we're gonna do a different flavor. This one is Akai, Akai Blueberry. Can't see it very well, I know. Camera looks like dirt, but you know, you work with what you got. So we're gonna try Akai Blueberry. Don't really smell much. With the other powders, you could smell it. Well, with other powders, you can, not all of them. Looks like grape, and if it tastes like grape, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, it's a little hard in there, ain't it? God, what are these meth rocks? Get out of there. So stinky, what are you doing? Yeah, the package. Oh, shite. Frankly, if it doesn't want to come out, that's fine. Um, because if again another big thing is how your product is packaged if your if your powder isn't going to come out when i want it to sorry i'm not going to buy it if it's not going to come out oh yeah for this one not worth your money and it's not good either don't do it this one actually looks like grape so if it tastes like it Whoa. That's respectable. I'll give that some respect. Jack that baby up down the line. So first of all, these, that's good. A little bit more subtle. It's not the most blended for sure. It's not the most blended. It's definitely better than the grape, and it's definitely a little bit more smoother overall. So let's put this into the final rankings here. I'm gonna leave these two, these three where they are, these four. I'm gonna put this up here, actually. Raspberry Lemonade and Crush are going down. This is going right here. So in first, second, and third place, we have the uh, sugar-free, low-calorie, uh, iced tea with peach, then we have the orange crush, the Skittles, Crystal Light, the Cranberry Crush. Oh, well, no. These three are right. We've got the Akai Blueberry. I believe this is the Crystal Light. Then we have the Cranberry Crush and then the Raspberry Lemonade. I'd say for these three, very solid. Worth your money and are pretty good. I'd say this one more than these two, but these two overshadow all these. As far as the lower end, this one's better than all these, but this one is insufferable. It will make you, it will make you suffer. Uh, these two definitely could be better, but if you're, if you like that punch, if you like getting sucker punched in the face and robbed at knife point, that's definitely going to be a little bit more for you. Um, but this is the nice blend in the middle. So with that, that'll do it for me. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.